Did y'all see this shit about Maroon 5, Adam Levine? This love? I'm not going to do it. But Adam Levine accused of sending flirtatious, flirtatious messages to other models, okay? Why is anybody surprised? Again, why are y'all surprised when you find out that a music star is a whore? Stop being surprised by things that happen all the time, okay? Now, the 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 gotcha, the what the is going on about this story was finding out that he wanted to name the child that he and his wife are having, their third child, wants to name that child after his ex side chick. It says Adam Levine is speaking out to respond to claims by an IG model who says she was manipulated into having a year long physical relationship with him. Now the singer is denying her allegations, but is admitting that he crossed the line. Adam told TMZ in a statement, I use poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. Boy, bye. I did not have an affair. You're a liar. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period of my life. He went on to say in certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. My wife and my family... Is all I care about in this world to, <clears throat> to be this naive and stupid enough to risk the you're not you weren't being naive. You weren't being naive. Cut the bullshit. OK, way to victimize yourself while telling us you was cheating on your wife. Boy, bye. I will never make it again. I take full responsibility. We will get through it. And um, we will. Of course, y'all will get through it because y'all got three kids together. Ain't nobody about to leave you just because you don't know how to act. <laughs> Ain't nobody about to leave you because you don't know I'm how to act. I'm just going to rip it off because I've been taking this like 10 times now. Essentially, I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time, you know, I was young. I was naive. And I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now. Um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated. We're in five is practically... Elevator music at this point. So I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. Um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. After I stopped talking to him over, you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby. And if it's a boy, I really uh, want to name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. Um... <laughs> I was like, I'm in hell. Like, I have to be in hell at this point. <laughs> I mean, my morals were unknowingly compromised. I was completely manipulated. I wanted to handle this privately. I never wanted to come forward because obviously I know the implications that come with doing what I do, making money the way I do, and being an Instagram model. Um, so being tied to a story like this, it's like, I know the stereotypes. I had sent, um, I had sent some screenshots recklessly to a few friends I thought I trusted, and one of them had attempted to sell to a tabloid. Um, so I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off because I've retaken this like 10 times now. Essentially, I was having an affair with a man who's yeah, okay. a model. We did this. All right. So, yeah, I mean, white folks news Adam Levine is a slut. <laughs> I, that's how I feel. Um, it, it feels like he is manipulative. It does feel like somebody who is, you know, probably used to getting their way with women, sees himself as like the cool, hot guy. And, you know, girl, it's embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. Okay. Um, What else is going on? Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Let's see. <laughs> Let's do this a certain type of look if she don't look how i want her to look physically i don't want her to come because the look of everything is so important to me like if she ain't thick enough no nope. her not idea good enough no nope. can't dress no nope. <laughs> uh skinny no <Nope. laughs> and it's like i don't feel like i'm discriminating i just want a certain type of look she could be the sweetest girl i ever met in my life but if she don't look the part, I don't want her to come. Like, that's just not the vibe I'm on. Now, she can come to the cookout. She can come to the listening party. But the club, I feel like bitches got to look a certain way to come.
bitch ain't. Okay. So that's what Erica Banks said. Erica Banks also, I think Erica Banks is just trying to make it now by any means necessary because she also said that the girl, you know, you need to get a BBL. You know, she need, she needs y'all to get a BBL. And I'm just kind of like, I really don't like for y'all to promote unnecessary um, surgeries to the girls. Um, hold up, y'all. Let me make sure I got this name right. I, I don't like when y'all do that. I, I really don't. Um, I feel like grown women are going to do whatever they want to do. But I don't think anybody should be out here like telling the girls that they have to get a BBL. Um, I also feel like, girl, don't nobody give a fuck about who you want to hang around. Like nobody even cares. You don't know how to act ever since you got that BBL. You don't know how to act. And I feel like nobody's baby hair should be that close to the eyebrow. I feel like nobody's baby hair should be that close to their eyebrow. You got a lot of shit to say for somebody that just upped their ante recently. Like, look, look, y'all look at, look at, no, I don't want the baby hair that close to the eyebrow. I don't. That's a bang, bitch. You got a bang, okay? And she's a beautiful girl, but it's absolutely giving, you know, I'm not comfortable with who I am, so I'm going to try to bend myself into what other people, girl, is that Meg? I'm going to bend myself into what other people want me to look like. I'm going to bend myself into what other people want me to look like. No, that's all. Okay. So that I can make it because I want to make it so bad. I want to make it so bad. And I just kind of feel like you're weird. Are you trying to fuck your friends? What's A going certain on? Type like, what's going on? And I get it. You want to be going out with a certain type of girl in a club because you want to be able to also eat off of her. So if all of y'all go out as the thotties and the baddies, then everybody can pull a baller for y'all to run game on that night, girl. I don't know. I don't know. But it feels little girl. It feels whack. It feels like, bitch, you not even all of that. <laughs> For you to have that type of requirement for friends, it feels vapid. It feels like you don't want real friendships. You just want other girls whose uh, clout you can leverage to have more clout. And it just, that's thirsty as fuck. I don't care how you slice it. And it's weird too. Like, bitch, that's weird as fuck for you to feel like that about your friends. Like, they need, oh, she ain't thick enough. She too skinny. Oh, she, uh, she, her hair ain't done right. Oh, she ain't dre Girl, what is going on? This is so whack. This is just whack. You just whack. Girl, be whack. Just be whack off my page.